Hello guys, welcome back. Today is Saturday, 11, uh, July 11. We're going to talk about get some sleep. That's what I will do after I finish this. <laughs> um, get some sleep. We're going to read Psalm 127, right? Psalm 127. And um, hopefully that you guys have your Bible ready. We're going to pray first. Father God, thank you very much for another beautiful day. Thank you for the blessings that you give us. Thank you for every single little thing that you allow us to go through. And uh, I ask you for special blessings, Lord, for the parents of these kids, or the boys and girls. I ask you for blessings or for the brothers and sisters as well, or the siblings. Be with them and show them how great you are. In the name of Jesus, I ask you for special special blessings for those uh, boys and girls that are pretty much watching this video. Uh, Lord, be with us, teach us, and let us know uh, what do you want us to learn today. In the name of Jesus, I ask you these things. Amen and amen. Okay, we're going to read Psalm 127 because it's a relatively short uh, psalm. It's only five verses. And we are going to see how uh, God is going to speak to us through this psalm. It says, Psalm 127. Unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the guards stand watch in vain. In vain you rise early and stay up late, toiling for food to eat for the for he grants sleep to those who he loves. Children are the heritage of from the Lord. Offspring a reward from him. Like arrows in the hands of a warrior are children born in one's youth. Blessed is the man who quivers is full of them. They will not be put to shame when they contend with their op opponents in court. We're going to talk about one specific verse on this one. And God pretty much has everything under control. And today we're going to talk about Angelica. Let's say what I said about Angelica. Angelica grunted as the alarm blared at 5.30 a.m. She had been up until 1 a.m. Again, studying for a big chemistry test and continuing to prep for the act. She had to get her scores up if she wants to get into the best school and get the scholarship he ne she needs. Teens today face much pressure to succeed, whether in academics, athletics, or some other field. For some, this creates a perfectionism that drives them to give up essentials like sleep. The irony, the, the irony is that the lack of sleep will eventually negatively impact your performance as well as your relationship and your health. This is not what God wants from you or for you. You are his children. He has given you a talent and a calling. He will enable you. It's pointless to lose sleep over it. Psalm 127 verse 2 says, In vain you rise early and stay up late, toiling for food to eat, for he grants sleep to those who he loves for those he loves this is not an excuse for laziness you still have to work hard and manage your time well but as a, as a Christian you can rest in the Lord's assurance that he is with you and your future is in his capable hands now after this there's two questions that I want you to answer remember to pause the video answer the question and jump to the next question and the first question is put attention what keeps you awake at night what keeps you awake at night second question what can you do to entrust that concern to God what can you do to entrust that concern to God? Answer the questions under comments. Don't forget 
to put like on the video subscribe if you're not subscribed so i can see who is who and uh we'll see you next time thank you very much and god bless you guys